Well, I was over taking the flag down and putting it back up again. It was caught on that other hook. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> You're coming out, I assume? I am out. a little more than I could chew. 
It was too far to walk? Huh? Too far to walk? Oh, my legs are giving out. Oh, God. Oh, Lordy. Woo. <coughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Mm hmm No. Oh, hello. Thank you. No thanks. Trying to cut down. Oh. Oh. There, in the garbage. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh, morning. Woo. Oh man. It's got 19 minutes yet. 19 minutes of what? What's to it? run. Huh? To run. It's running that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, Lordy. That stupid dog barking again? What dog? <coughs> just I a stupid, a yeah, just a stupid little dog. Bark, 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 bark. Well, I might have to go put him out of his misery. No, you're not. No, you're not. Got it? It's real easy to stop a dog from barking. All you need is a newspaper. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. You sit there in front of the dog, and when the dog barks, you hit him in the nose with the newspaper. Mm. Barks again, you hit him in the nose with the newspaper. Barks again, you hit him in the nose with the newspaper. Mm. I've never seen it take more than six hits in the nose mm. before they figure it out. Oh, Maybe if I, I bark, I'm going to get hit in the nose with the newspaper. Mm. Usually they catch on the second or third time. Mm. I don't even know where it's coming from. From Pat's place. Down the big house? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's got two dogs and one of them's a Parker. Huh. <clears throat> oh, shit. It's hot up here. There's Sir? another way of stopping a dog from barking too, but it involves a 12 gauge and it's not very nice. John, that's pretty sad. It is very sad. I had dogs, and I didn't have to do either one of them. No, but Ralph used the 243. Huh? Ralph used the 243. Mm, no. He I used to live have in... To have to loot. He used to live in the big house on the corner. Yeah. And, well, you can't see it from here now because this house is in the way. Yeah. But before, the, before they built that house... There's, uh, oh, it's about oh, boy. about a half mile down the road over there. Yeah. Um, it's hot up here. <laughs> they had a little barker, and it would sit in front of the shop, and the shop was a metal shop, so it would echo this way all the time. And Ralph was trying to sleep one after, to take a nap one afternoon, and the window was open in that direction, and the dog was just out there, yap, 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 yap. Mm. <laughs> Old Ralph took his 243, set it up on the window, and the dog went, ruff, ruff, <laughs> that was That was the end of the that dog. That was the end of it. There was no more barking. Yeah. And what did the uh, neighbors say about the... They had no idea what happened to the dog other than the fact that it had been shot. Really? Yeah. They didn't know who did it, huh? No. He wow. got caught late. He got caught later. He was. <clears throat> he moved to Vegas. And lived in a fancy place. Yeah. And uh, had a yard. Oh, probably. Probably about as big as this area mm -hmm. right in here. Mm -hmm. Probably what is that? I don't know. Uh, 80 feet by. You saw mine. 40 feet, something yeah. like that. 80. 80 by 50, mm. and then he had his house on it, and so it was a smaller backyard, and it was had a fence 
along the backyard with his neighbor on the other side uh, who had another little yap done. Mm. <laughs> Old Ralph went over there, <laughs> took care of the problem. Guy took him to court, it cost him 600 bucks. Ralph says the best $600 I ever spent. <laughs> wow. Who was that? It was the local gendarmes. Mm. <clears throat> huh. That's too bad. How about knocking on the door and saying, you know what? Really he tried you. that. He tried that. You really you, need you to keep your dog. Usually, usually they tell you to stuff it. Really? Yeah. Boy. Yeah. There's not even any good neighbors, huh? <clears throat> and if they are good neighbors, half the time they can't get the dog to stop anyway because they don't then know how. Then bring it in the house. Well, they when don't they do that. When they know it's his time to sleep. You know, there's compromises. Well, Whatever. sometimes people don't compromise. Well, sometimes they do. I don't know. I had one out here. I don't know where he came from. A neighbor but, uh, or a dog? It was a dog. It was a uh, reasonable size, too. It was about, body oh. was probably about the, up to my knee, maybe mm -hmm. a little higher. Mm -hmm. So it was a good sized dog. <clears throat> and I came out to dump the trash and uh, he was he was dumping in front of the trash thing. Mm. Oh, and I right. hollered at him and threw a rock at him. Mm. And uh, he growled at me and tried to chase me. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> so I went in the shop here. And uh, he was still there when I, when I, by the time I'd come out, I was only in there for a couple seconds. But I came back out, and uh, he was out there growling at me. Uh, I don't think so. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you didn't kill him. Because I, I happen to have a 12 gauge in my hand. Oh my God, John! Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, you I'm not. You actually killed it. I put it in a box and put it in the dumpster, and they hauled it away. Oh my God! Wow. Well, that wasn't your neighbor. I don't. I don't tolerate well, a dog, dog growling at me and attacking no, me on my own either, property. No, I wouldn't either, but the dog should not be out running around. No, he shouldn't. And I didn't know what he was, whether he was a stray or what the heck he was. Hmm. At that time, there was, uh, at that time, there was nobody here. That, that house, that house, that house, that house, they weren't here yet. Hmm. So there was nothing here. So there was really no reason for a dog to be here other than if it was a, a feral, feral dog, yeah. Wow, that's sad. Yeah, we've had, really oh sad. heck, we've had uh, three dogs and probably at least a dozen cats. Dumped? Yeah, that we've, that have just, well you saw it here, we had three, we had the three there, they were here. Uh, uh, the orange cat, he still shows up every once in a while. Uh, the gray mother cat, she, I haven't seen her now for about a month. And the little kid cat, I haven't seen, I haven't seen the kid cat for, oh shit, that's been a couple, three months. Mm. But we've had this other one here, and we feed him. But, the uh, orange cat. yeah. But the, uh, yeah, people in Vegas, oh, we'll take them out in the country, they'll have a nice home. No, they won't. They'll be crawling around that's in the not, open that's, desert that's not trying right. to get some kind of a living out that's of it, crazy. and they just can't do it. If you can't take care of them, take them to the pound. Well, that's at least to a humane. You got to remember that people are pretty stupid. Uh, I don't know. They think it's an animal, there ought to be no problem out there in the wild. No. <laughs> stupid people.
I mean, I had them when we first, because we were the first track homes in Summerlin, the very first one. And yeah, there were people that brought animals out there and dumped it off. But we'd take them to the pound. Yeah. Or the vet that was right down the street from us. Well, if it's a friendly cat or something, then I'll take them down to the vet. But actually what I do with them is I give them to uh, What's-Her-Face, uh, the cat lady. I can't remember her name right now. But she had, last count, she had about a half a dozen. Mm -hmm. And she takes them in and takes care of them and finds a home for them. Well, I'd rather take them to the pound where they would at least well, We be, don't have a pound. It's all the way in Vegas. But they would be euthanized. Yeah. So it wasn't a horrible. I euthanized him. There's a I difference. I euthanized him a hell of a lot faster than they would have done it. They would have put him in a little chamber and filled it with gas, and he would have fallen asleep. And, there you go. And I went bam, and he fell asleep. I had a vet right down in the corner. If I had to choose a way to go, that would probably be one of the best. Mm. Uh, I'm not so sure I want to be shot. <clears throat> you don't know how long they linger when they're shot. Huh? No, I don't know that. You'd I'd know be... how long they linger if they're shot poorly, yeah. When you're when you're five feet from five feet away from the dog, it's pretty hard not to get a good clean shot with a 12 gauge. I mean, come on. Whatever floats your boat, sir. It's <clears throat> hot out here. I can't hang. I'm sweating under the pits. Okay. We certainly wouldn't want that. No, this is starting to settle in here. What do we got? Looks like 12 minutes. That'll probably fold up before then, but I'm gonna tough it out. Okay, tough it out. No, you're not going in. No. You don't want him in there? No. Come here, Pud. Come here, Pud, I'll pet you. Go on, go see him. Come on, puss. He doesn't want to be pet by me, he wants to be pet by you. Yeah, I know. I'm nice. Oh, shit. Yeah. Looks a lot better with half his fur missing now, though. Yeah. <clears throat> that clumped up stuff, that was yeah. icky. Yeah. 